Hey, welcome back to our continuing coverage of the Simpet Ford Escort RS 1600 series. And tonight is our very first race at the Red Bull Ring GP. Tonight is, uh, well, this is our second track of the series so far. And um, by the way, while I was going, uh, while I, after the race, I went back looking at the footage. Guys, I am so, so sorry that the shifter cam froze. So there's no shifter cam. That's all you really see is like, is like a picture. That, so that means that shifter cam didn't work for the entire race, which sucks. I don't understand why it did that. Um, it happened to me in the live stream. It froze in the, during the live stream. I don't understand why. I know there's a little conflict here and there because um, I'm using three of the exact same model cameras and that kind of tends to cause at least you because it kind of confuses uh, the software sometimes as to which camera is which. But um, I'm so sorry about that. Uh, what I will do maybe tomorrow night uh, for the race too, I might try switching off face cam. Now face cam is, you're not seeing the face cam, but it's still on. So I might, I might try switching it off and see if that will keep the shifter cam from um, you know, freezing for whatever reason. Anyway, um, so I'm really sorry about no shifter cam. It's kind of weird seeing the Helan 2 without shifter cam, without the shifter. That's strange. So, you know. Anyway, guys, uh, let's head for qualification. Let's see what position we're going to be starting at, starting in. And um, let's see what we can do tonight. Because, honestly, uh, the last race was my very first race. The second race of the series was actually my first race because I missed uh, race one. As I told you guys, um, I did pretty well considering. Huh? I just jumped, you know, I just grabbed a uh, setup from Steve. Never practiced with it or anything and just, I did look pretty okay. The main thing for me is that I didn't touch anyone. I had a clean race and I got all my points. No incidents whatsoever. So tonight, let's go for a clean race again. Let's head for the track. Alright guys, here we go. I'm starting out with 82 liters. Must be said, your retro paint jobs look fantastic. Well done, gents. Well done. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And here is Steve Walker. It's me. It's me. Yeah, Mr. Yes. <laughs> Definitely not. I'm missing Will, though. Don't tell him I said that, though. I won't tell him. <laughs> All right, Sean, get ready. All right, guys, here we go, here we go, here we go. Go, nail it. Walker is leading the race. Yellow flag. Yeah. On your left. At least you're back. Hold your line. Keep it steady. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear on the left. Car left, clear left, right side, still there. <laughs> Steve try it over on non media. Still there, still there, keep it steady, still there, clear to the right. <laughs> Luke try it over on another media. No, Luke is a pretty fast guy, eh? So I don't want to keep him back, but at the same time, it's a race. <laughs> Woo! 
Oh, climb as me, can I move? I was making a move on uh, Steve. Well, he was making a move on Steve. <laughs> but he didn't get it done. Whoa, that was interesting. <laughs> Man, those three guys up ahead are really close in times. They are batting it out. I don't usually take this corner in first gear, but seeing that. Oh, Luke spun out, so I have a little breathing room now. Incident 10, turn 3. I want to turn, turn. All right. J. Gabriel is behind me. My buddy Chris so is behind him. Chris is behind him. Oh, not too far out, not too far out. Ooh. Ah, Sean. Track limits. Come on. I was hoping that I didn't get a cut track there. Wow, we got away. The leader has just done a 149.93. Walker is now in the lead. The guy ahead has just done a 150.20. Oh, look at track, please. Ooh. But, you know, funny enough, huh? I actually forgot. With all the testing that I did, I actually forgot to test to see how much inside of that corner I could cut <laughs> without getting a penalty. Silver. All right, Chris is behind me now. I'm on silver, really going at it. The gap to silver in front is now 2.1 seconds. Yellow flag, watch out. All right, guys. The leader's just done it. 149.78. Get all your apexes. Wait for the chances to come, mate. That's your fastest lap. Sector three is 0 0.47 off the pace. Okay, as you may have noticed, I'm not alone. These days, I think um, I think it's more interesting having people with you when you're racing, you know, having friends along, along. So the only thing is. Only thing is I wanted you guys to know who was with me. I know in the past couple of videos you were, you were hearing people talking, but you did, I guess you didn't know who it was, was actually talking. So I'm trying to see. So I added something there so you can see who is with me. And it, it should be lighting up when, when we talk to each other. When we use push to talk on Discord, we, you should be seeing who is talking. Just realized something. 
I just realized something. Seeing that I'm using push to talk. Sometimes, you know, you're fighting the steering wheel with this car. Not to, you know, they're probably trying not to spin her out or something. And I might mute the guys by mistake. Thing is, um, if I press the button and I mute them by mistake, I would not know. Because we don't usually talk much during a race anyway. So this is messed up. I can't see. Okay, Sean. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. Yellow flag, P4. Ooh, Chris is coming up on me, man. Yeah, I messed up that corner. Just saw a slight stutter there. Climber and Steve is going at it. That was a 150.59. Sector 2 is 0.8 off the pace. Yellow flag. Caution. Okay, Sean. The next car is silver. <laughs> yep, I got a decent run out of that corner. I messed up this one. <laughs> okay, let's try this one in second gear. Chris is doing pretty good. Chris is right behind me.
Open the gap to Silver. Ahead is now 0.8. All right, let's try not to screw up this corner here now. I have to do a, a really hard um uh healer. When I'm taking that last corner there, I have to press the accelerator. <laughs> I have to press the accelerator a little harder than usual to keep the tires from locking up. With this guy, I definitely have to do healing too. Definitely. It's a must. Alright, this is shaping up to be my fastest lap. If I don't mess it up. I messed it up a little bit, but it will still be my fastest lap. You've just done a 149.54 P4. Right, the guy ahead of us is Silver. I'm seeing a lot of sparks from under his car. <laughs> I'm seeing a s one set of sparks, lots of sparks. Look kind of cool. I messed up my gear there for a bit, but it didn't hurt me. Silver ahead is now 1.0 seconds. This guy is a tricky one to drive. To drive fast. Well, at least I'm keeping up with them, well, for now at least.
Ah, we lost the guy. We lost Brandon. Sector one. Oh, we went drifting around that corner that time. By the way. I have to thank my good buddy Jim for this setup. Who oh, had a slight uh, hiccup there? Stutter. This is this uh, setup is a little is a variation of um the one that I used in the last race from Steve. The gap to silver ahead is now 0.8. I had to. Oh no, Sean, come on, track limits. Yeah, I messed up the other bit. I had to actually come off the accelerator. Yellow flag, caution. Oh, remember earlier when I was telling you guys? I would not know if I, by chance, if I happened to mute the guys by mistake, I would not know. I was mistaken. I can tell. Very nice. So, so they are not muted. They are just concentrating hard. <laughs> All right. Because I did not want to ask for a mic test. While they were racing, especially with Steve uh, being up ahead and fighting, you know, fighting the whole onto that position. So, Alex has been disconnected as well. Ah, uh, that sucks, guys. The guy in front is silver. Come on, guys. When you have issues, you should always um try to get your car repaired and come back on the track. Oh, yes, you know you wouldn't be able to win the race, but still. Race pace. Just keep hitting your marks. This is looking good. P4. Yellow flag. Yellow flag for what? You're pulling away. The gap behind is now 9.5. I'm just happy to be able to keep up with these guys. Honestly.
now, 0.5. is 0 0.40 off the pace. The guy behind has just done a 149.48. Nice. Good going, Chris. Chris is right behind me. And the car behind him is a lap down, so... I just had to start there in the worst time. Wow, I'm so focused on the cars ahead of me, I was not even watching any time. Alright, we got 35 minutes to go. And 50 liters, 50 liters to go as well. I could hear Steve in my, in my head now. Smooth as fast. Yellow flag, watch out. Wow, this race is intense. This is so intense. I just saw David climb ahead of me. This car just dipped for a little while for a split second there.
I decided to back off of climb all just a little bit. I just wanted to leave you guys in that gear for a bit just to make sure it settles. That last light was at 150.35. Stay on it, keep digging, B4. Silver is giving Steve a run for his money. He was trying to make a move there a little while ago, but it didn't stick. Halfway home, got plenty of fuel. Alright, good to go, good to know. At the very last moment, I put um, two extra liters in. Oh, I put in. I put in two extra liters of fuel. At the very last moment, I, move, I moved it up from 80 liters. From 80 liters to 82 liters, so let's see at the end of the race how much fuel I have remaining. Come on, Sean, sliding is not fast. Although it's fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm dropping back, dropping back a little bit. I need to try and get up there a little more. But I don't want to overdo it. Let's run up and climb a little bit. Ooh, that guy is pulling a move on Steve in a tricky place.
Ooh, that's a tricky one. Steve is in a bad position. Silver may get at this at this corner. Because he's he has the advantage on the inside there. Alright guys, take it whoa, take it easy, don't hit the climber. <laughs> don't worry, David. We are coming up on the uh, on somebody. Wow, this race is so tough. Yellow flag, caution. Oh, that post up ahead don't slow down in the wrong place. Zero. Point one six off the pace. Sector two is 0 0.7 off the pace. Sector three is a tenth off the pace. On your left. Clear away. Well done, Sean. Nice move, mate. Hey, thanks, David. Although I knew you were going to come back for it. Huh? <laughs> I knew you were going to come back for it. Left side, clear to the left. Thanks, buddy. Who's that? Marco? Thanks, Marco. Stay behind me, stay behind me. Because I'm going to be taking this corner a little fast. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Marco, for not trying to race me there. 1 6 disconnected from me, Silver. I think that's the third person disconnected. Of course, they know, you know the tires doesn't have as much grip as before, so no, it's a balancing act. It's a balancing act trying to put the, put the power down. It's a kind of balance like for me to try to keep this power down and keep the car on the track. Walker is now leading. Okay, Sean, keep 
Dean, what are you doing? This is spot on. That was a 149.71. Yellow flag. Caution. We're matching race pace. Track limits. Come on. Come on, Chris, keep it going. I think climber is probably battling his tires a bit. Even if I want to go for, for a pass, that's not the place I would want to try there. I'm digging, I'm digging. <laughs> I'm digging, dude. I'm trying. Yeah, climb my side and run up a bit. Oh, come on, Jordan. Why are you disconnected, dude? The guy behind is catching the gaps now. 12 seconds. Yellow flag. I actually like the way these little the cars sit down on the road. Sit down on the track. Stutter there in a bad place. Go ahead, Stevie. All right, guys, careful. Don't, don't take out each other. We reached too far for you to, to, to take out each other up ahead there. That would be really unfortunate. Why so many people disconnected from the server? Left side. We're left. Awesome. Well done. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. I think I think climber I think David is um battling tires right now too. That last lap was at 150.30. This is brilliant. Keep it up. P3. The next car is Walker. Fernando is up is in first place right now. Walker is trying again to get back his first position. Let's see he's on the inside. All right, Steve got it back again. All right, I'm back into it, believe it or not. So let's try and keep it this time. <laughs> My tires are giving me beats, as they say. <laughs> My tires are giving me a lot of drama right now.
Yeah, take me and David uh, in the same boat uh, right now. We are fighting tires. That's so him a little bit. That should give Steve a little advantage to pull away. Not much, that but a little. Alright, Sean, the next car is silver. Oh, come on. Marco disconnected from me silver as well. What's going on? Go ahead, Steve. Go ahead, Steve. Keep that full space. <laughs> let me try. Let me see if I can meet up with them without overdriving the car. Guys, we got 12 minutes to go. 0.37 off the pace. The next car is silver. <laughs> 12 minutes to go. 21 liters of fuel.
I messed up the habit. Ten minutes, climber is going to start a push down. Ooh, I took that corner like a crazy man. I went to the rack one a little hot. But it gave me a little breathing room from from client from David. I don't want uh, uh although uh going into the corner so hot uh, gave me some breathing room. I don't want to do it again though. Three years, zero point three nine off the pace. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. I messed up that one, and David has a run on me. He's speeding up a little bit now. He's coming up a bit. Just because I messed up that one corner. Every corner at this point. Right now, every corner is so important. I don't want to go into this corner too, too hot again. You guys would not believe I had a brain fart there. I had a serious brain fart there. I wasn't sure what gear I was in. When I could have simply look at the uh, screen and see it. Okay. Seven minutes and 15 liters to go. I'm making some mistakes now. That's not good. I'm letting the pressure get to me and that's not good. That last light was at 151.76. Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. Hey, my has it on me there. All right. Still there. Right. Let me back off, let me back off because I don't want him to... Uh... Come on, Sean. God, don't panic. We'll get him back. <laughs> Come on, let's have some fun in the end. Come on, the race is almost over. <laughs> Uh, I knew that trick, Climber. <laughs> I knew that trick. 
Slow down in the, in the middle of the corner And then pull away hard <laughs> I know that trick dude <laughs> I said this can we get it back from climber but five minutes ago oh man I'm sweating it's starting to feel warm now things are getting hot stay on it this isn't over yet that's five minutes to that's go. for sure five minutes. Silver Hold on. is leading the race. We've got 10 minutes of fuel remaining. Come on, Steve, get back that sweat. It's now about 0.5 P4. That was a 152.27. Yellow flag. Keep it between the lines. Track limits. The gap behind is now 12 seconds. 12 seconds. Give me that draft. Push. We might get third here. On your left. Clear left. <laughs> I had to go all the way out to first gear for that corner to get that one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Steve is back in front. Whoa, Steve. You can do it. I messed up, I messed up. And climbers are running me again. <laughs> I was wondering if he would try to go there. I was kind of expecting him to try actually. She's sliding all over the place and climber is coming again. With only a minute and 20 seconds to go. Yellow flag, caution. Ooh. I don't know if I'd be able to hold him off, seriously. We have about maybe maybe one more lap to go. Silver, last lap. Bring it on home. Can I keep him away from me? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. If I can get him in these last two corners here, maybe. Maybe. I will have a chance. Thank you. 
Descona esse amigo, o Bricona é família. Steve, Steve has it, Steve has it. And I think we might have a third. Yellow flag, watch out. We might have a third. I think we have it here, guys. Steve is in first. We are in third. Sweet! That's a podium. Nice run, nice run, nice run. Beautiful run, dude. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> oh, trust me, I do. <laughs> Congratulations, Steve. Hey, well, we missed you, dude. Oh, let's get out of here, guys. And David. Nice run, really nice run. By the way, you know, um, almost had you at the end, there, Sean. There you. Yeah, I thought one time I was, ex I saw him like he was thinking about coming up my right side, and I was going to give it to him. I said if he comes up, my right side, I'll give it to him, but he didn't. <laughs> so, yay for me. Oh, let's get out of here, guys. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Let's all I can say. What the heck? What's a race? What's a race? What a race? Jeez. We started off in fifth position, P5, and we finished in third. Uh, partly, I would say, because Timer, David, David Timer, is a very clean racer. Uh, had lots of races with Climber. Seen him race a lot. Um, He's a really nice guy. Really nice guy. Um, every time I got a little run on him, uh, probably trying to you know, make a pass before I even re before we even reached you know to any corner, he would usually back off. Uh, so you know, there's one time when he le uh, let me pass. I was ahead of him. I was doing pretty good, and I was like, "Yay, dude!" And then I messed up. <laughs> and of course, you know, he has to pass me because I messed up. You know. And um, we were back and forth again. But when I got to run on him again, uh, he let me pass again. In fact, when he got to run on me at one point, uh, I think that was uh, right before turn three, I believe, kind of going up the hill. Uh, he got a little run on me. Uh, you know, I mean, come on. The guy backed off for me. It's only fair that I back off for him, you know? So it didn't make sense for racing him up to the corner and then both of us going to the corner. Uh -huh, like, huh. Uh, doesn't make sense when four of us are pretty you know pretty you know we had a pretty good gap uh on fifth you know so didn't make sense uh but in the end i am really happy to be in the podium again finally uh, it's been a little while but i'm happy to come into it but my boy steve walker jeez that dude was unstoppable uh he and uh, Fernando Silva, Fernando, jeez, Fernando and Steve were battling just trading places, trading places. One minute Fernando is a, is a P1, one minute Steve is P1, although P, uh, Steve was held on to it for most of the race actually. I think, um, looking at the charts, I think uh, Fernando got him on lap 19, I believe. Lap 19, uh, Fernando was uh, you know, ahead, but Steve was basically Steve starts his seconds and he was like in first place from second lap, I think from the second lap, from the first lap. Jeez, and he just held on to it all the way up to I think, I think probably lap 17. Somewhere around there, if I'm reading these charts correctly. 
But um, it was kind of it was it was cool. It was a stressful race, but in a good way. It was fun. That's a fun man. I I was after the race. I was like, my hand was like literally shaking, shaking with adrenaline. Wow, come on. When I when I reach, if God spares my life and I, and I reach maybe in my seventies, eighty, I want to be sim racing. Seriously, there's nothing like sim racing to keep alive. <laughs> to keep that blood flowing in your old age. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, guys, uh, this now I know I don't know I don't know why, but usually when I have a race this good, I have to look out for bad things in the next one. So I don't want to call it up on myself. Let's see if we could finally pull off two good races in a row. That'll be fun. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed the race. Uh, if you like what you saw. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not uh, already subscribed. And and also make sure and press that um uh bell icon because um that's you know that's the notification bell. That's where you will be notified every time you know we put out a new video or go live you know live stream and that kind of stuff. And by the way, if you guys um any, if any of you want to join us as you notice i'm trying to tweak i'm always tweaking huh, by the way i'm always trying to do something different in this video like only recently i started bringing along the guys well stay in, in chat with the guys uh as you can see they don't really talk very much during a race but it's always good to be you know kind of nice up you know when they're there the thing is um the last couple of races if you go back and like check the last let's say two three videos You'll notice they were there with me, we were talking, we were having fun, even while we were racing. Uh, I think the last two the last two videos from the last um, series with the Audi TT Cup car. If you know if you um go check those two videos, you will realize uh the guys were with me. They were talking, we were having fun during the race. You know, we were you know we had each other back during the race and we could tell each other to look out for this or whatever. Or whatever. It's kinda nice, you know, having people there and just racing alone. Me just talking on a microphone. I'm, I'm no one I'm talking on the mic and looking, you know, I'm talking to you guys. But it's nice having you know friends with, with you. Uh but thing is when they talk, I know who's talking. I mean they are my they're my friends. I know their voices, you know, I know exactly who's talking to me, but you might not know who's talking and you might not you might not even know how many people is there with me, you know, hanging out hanging with me. So I try to do something new tonight. By um using a software, it's a, it's a kind of beta software. That's a, a friend of my, a guy, uh, you know, uh, let lent, lent to me or let me use this way that you could, it shows who's um in a specific server with me. So and it also lights up when the person is talking. So I was trying, to, I, just, I just trying to test it out tonight to see how it goes. I usually I usually use this on my live stream. But on my live stream, I don't have to worry about it because it's live. But for editing, vi edited video, it's a little trickier because if uh, if it's out of sync, it will look really bad. So, by the way, I am so sorry about that shifter cam. I was so ticked off. I don't know what the heck is going on with that shifter cam, but um, I was not happy about it. Uh, that camera froze, and I did not know because I don't usually have that window open. I usually have a uh, I see one software up on top on the fourth monitor, so I do I didn't see. But uh, I guess I will have to do a double check. I might even switch off the face cam uh, while we while we are racing, and just a double and double check probably be right before the race uh, to make sure everything is okay. I have to try and probably put a little small checklist, you know, so that I can double check the cameras right before. Now, if it gets stuck during the race, well, there's nothing I can do about it. But tonight, I mean. If I knew knew about it, I could have, you know, dealt with it before started the race. So it kind of sucks, to, you know, that um, it didn't work. But hey, what can I? Do? That's how it goes sometimes. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. We'll spend some time with your family, and I'll see you guys in the next one tomorrow night. Take care.